Hey guys, got a 710D backer. This is actually a YouTube viewer. I got a video and show him that I'm working on his backhoe at least. Um, doing seal kits on the swing cylinders, and then I still got to do the extend the hoe. I call it extend the hoe. That's case terminology. But okay, so um, this is the rod seal kit here. Now I'm trying to figure out the head. So it says right here, because of design changes, extra parts may be included in this kit. So, okay, we got to figure out which one they want us to use. This is the style that came out of it right here. Now on the rod seal, this poly seal. Um, i got to turn this damn ring camera off. It's driving me crazy. The service is just good enough to where it makes the ring deal for notifications go off but i can't get into the deal to silence it well, i did there so anyway so i'm going to go with what came out of it so what happened the gland the gland o-ring was rotten and leaking everywhere okay so let's put the old piston seal in it so we want the oil to stay in that direction in like this right here put the lip face in this direction I try to use my fingers for most of that stuff if I possibly can sometimes they're so damn stiff you can't hardly use your fingers on them Okay, so then they got two different styles here. The style I had was this gray style, and the lip was this direction. I'm gonna go in the last groove here. I <laughs> came out, I've never been out to this place. I've been into Montague before, but never, never uh, at this place. Well, he gave me a, the, he's building a new place here or something, and. He gave me his neighbor's address. It was the only address he really had, and this place doesn't have an address yet. So I punched it in, and it took me clear down by Copco, which is a reservoir. It's a lake. It was way wrong. Okay, so um, I don't see they're not giving you the gland o-ring there. So they must be using this kit for that part. Goofy, huh? Backup ring, it'll go here. This orange backup ring will go right up here. Okay, gland o ring. Okay, this one is pretty much well, no. Lying to you. This has got to go in the dust seal. I'm lying to you. I don't know whether I should put some bearing mount in that or not. Oh. I guess we'll run it back and forth. I try to explain this to guys that you know the, the the dust seal goes in the other direction. You're trying to keep the dirt out so the lips going this way. So that's done, the gland on that one. Now we got to do the piston. Ah, I just did one of these the other day on a 410D. Okay, so we can pull the wear ring off and we might wind up using that. We go back together. Let's go ahead and slide that. Let me get a little bit of oil something to lube up the I'd like to lube that up just to the idea of that just a little bit or something I should have brought a damn I should have brought a damn squirt can or something and I had my head up my ass and I didn't do it uh, is there enough oil that I drained out of here I just got to get it wet and yeah, just I'll bring this over here and just have to get my fingers in it and get it wet to where it won't tear the seal when I go back together with it Perfect on that part. Okay, and that 
we'll go the gland nuts already on there and i guess i could put a i guess i could put a new one of these on there half the time i don't even put them back in these orange pieces here but we'll put it in there Piston time. We got the wear ring already off. Has this one got any O-rings right here? Sometimes they do. This one does not. Just basically got a piston seal here and two backup rings. If I can find the pick that I was using to take all this shit apart. Yeah, there's design changes, so there's going to be some O-rings in this kit we're not even going to use. Let's just make sure, though, this is going to be the piston seal kit right here. So that all looks like that's accounted for there. Okay. Works fine, lasts a long time. These are Teflon here. I still got to go to a 410D on Gazelle and pull the valve body out of it. The kid wants it switched over to ISO controls, which on these older John Deere backhoes, there's the newer machines. You just got a lever on the, I'm not sure about the John Deere's, but on the cats, you just basically you flip the lever to change it over to ISO controls. These older ones, nope, you gotta rearrange the entire valve stack. Pull the valve stack out, separate it all. Okay. Just need to lay this rag down, set this on the rag. Okay, new piston seals. Put this piece on first. Let's put a backup ring on. Oops, didn't see that. Okay. Backup ring. Well, let's well, should I do that or let's put the piston seal on first and then put the backup ring on. The last backup ring. Now these are kind of tricky sometimes. Usually these aren't too bad on these styles here, but sometimes they'll stretch on you when you stretch the Teflon over the piston and you've got to basically get its memory back to where it's supposed to be. And so you'll have to, what I do, I'll use the old wear ring and wrap it around the piston or wrap it around the piston where this is and take clamp, hose clamp, big hose clamp, or wrap two, tie two hose clamps together, and just tighten them down and just leave them like that for about five, 10 minutes, and it'll it'll pull that Teflon back in, it'll regain its memory, and then it'll be set. Okay, we're ring. We don't need to do that. I don't think there's supposed to be anything here. I don't think so. Okay. I think we're ready to go. For... Okay guys, so what I gotta do is fire up the truck, build air again, and tighten the living piss out of it. I'm not putting Loctite on this because it's already got a nylock nut, but they had Loctite and a nylock nut on there, but I'm not gonna do that. I've never had one of these come loose, ever. So. All right, I laid the completed one here. What I'm gonna do is uh, go ahead and get this other one out. 
think. I think I can get it out from this side. Stack these up somewhere to set this camera. foot. You gotta beat this gland in because there's a snap ring that goes in here. can't put your other rod pin in or you'll never get this one turned usually I'll grab the boom and just swing it to one side and then pull do one side at a time but it's got no oil in it or anything we got to put oil in it but it's just gonna take a little doing to get there fucker okay got it started with the small hammer put 
this gland in. started. Damn nut and that snap ring. Blow that dirt off there. Okay. Some of that shit off of there. At least it's kind of. Let me get the snap ring in there now. Let's put the gap at the bottom. I should start on the other side and work it around this way. Wish this fucker would stay out here where a guy can see what in the hell he's doing. It'd be really nice. Spring loaded, it seems like. Just being a dickhead. Get in there. There it is. Finally, and this orange piece goes up in there, keeps the moisture out of the out of the damn uh, o ring or the snap ring grooves that it does. Half the time I don't even put them on. But it's kind of a waste, actually. Might hold my mouth right or something here. Oh my gosh. There shouldn't be anything wrong with the threads. I mean, I didn't beat on the threads or anything. If it came right off, it should go right on. I'm having my fair share of troubles with this gland nut. <sighs> this country down here, man. You guys can have this hot ass shit, I'll tell you that. I'll stay where it's cool. Nice and cool. This fucker ain't wanting to start. Just, I don't want to start. Start it, but it acts like it's binding up. And then it does that. I mean, I hit it with a rubber mallet. I didn't hit it with a steel hammer or anything. So, oh, there it goes. I finally got my mouth held the right way. 
You got the son of a bitch to thread on there. So we got it fired up. So we gotta do the extender hole. Probably pull up here with my truck. Pin should be right here. Yeah. Make sure the swing is working. I can reach everything from there. I mean, that's like I get the dipper. Will the dipper go up anymore? That's as far as I'm going to be able to go. Yeah, get to the pin here. Okay.
isn't really working very well. to heat it what the deal is the way john deere does these cylinders it's kind of goofy it's not threaded to the barrel it's threaded to the gland and the snap ring is what holds the gland into the barrel okay i dropped the camera again i'm good at that okay so beat the gland back into it get the snap ring out of there Find all my shit here. Yeah, that one wasn't being very good to me, I'll tell you that. Let's get a real hammer. Let's real hammer. That's a little bit easier, you dumbass. Okay. Pick under there and get that snap ring out of there. <sighs> There's the end of it over there. I need to be on this side. Now everything's hot. So I was really trying to avoid heating it and using the torch, but that's the way it is. Well, the swing cylinders, they came apart pretty good, but this one's not being, being so good. Snap ring don't want to come out of there either. Up under 
underneath it somehow. Damn it. There it is. Alright. Show you some tough. Now, the problem with these really, really long rods like this is you're trying to hammer it out and it wants to get the dirt on you. Can I get lucky? Yeah. Like use my brain and wrap a strap around it and the crane will catch it let's do that let's use our brain bad the gland o-ring's completely gone pretty much there's a big gap where it's not even present anymore but of course you know probably doesn't help heating it with a cutting torch to get it apart most of that i don't think i did okay the slider back in the hole
going too far down here. I don't see the eye yet. Well, let's fire it up. I think some guards must go to this Fiat. Go through here. Really a pretty, pretty nice old backhoe for a D model. It's it's a pretty nice old machine. Um, it's a really good shape actually. So I guess we'll go to a 410D now and um, pull the valve body out and rearrange it. All right, guys, this one's done.